Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how to make my favorite tacos de papa. So in case you guys want to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with our ingredients. So for this recipe we're going to need 10 small potatoes, corn tortillas, queso Oaxaca, 4 tablespoons of butter, half a cup of queso cotija, 3 roasted hatch or chile poblanos, and half a onion. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. Alrighty guys, so we're going to begin by making our potato mixture. Here I already boiled my potatoes for about an hour. So now we're just going to peel them. I like to boil them with the skin so like that my potatoes don't soak in a lot of water. So I'm just going to peel them since they're already a little cooled down. So just remove the peel. Okay, and once we peel our potatoes, we're going to add our butter. I'm going to season with a little bit of salt. And black pepper. Okay, I'm going to begin to smash them down. You can use your bean smasher. I'm just going to be using my fork. And once we smash our potatoes, we're going to add our queso cotija. Along with our queso Oaxaca. Our chile poblanos cut into rajas, as well as the onion. We're just going to mix it all together. And of course, make sure that you taste your potatoes and adjust it on the salt. And once we have our potato mixture, now we can get ready to make our tacos. Okay, so we're going to soften our tortillas. I'm grabbing a stack of 10 tortillas at a time, and I'm just going to microwave them for about one minute. Once our tortillas are done, we're going to begin to fill it with our filling. So just grab your filling. And then close it in half. Just like that. Okay, and at the same time, make sure that you're getting your oil ready. So like that when we're done folding our tacos, we can get ready to fry them. Okay, and once we have our tacos, now we can get ready to fry them. Okay, so once our oil is nice and hot, we're going to begin to fry our tacos until they're nice and golden. So for about two minutes per side. And just make sure that you have your temperature set on medium. We just allow them to get nice and golden. Okay, after two minutes, flip them over to the other side and allow that side to get nice and golden. Okay, and once our tacos are nice and golden on both sides, we're going to remove them from the oil. Allow them to drain the excess oil. And we repeat the process to the rest of our tacos. And while we fry the rest of our tacos, we're going to make a quick salsa. So I'm going to be roasting six tomatillos. Okay, once the tomatillos are nice and roasted, we're going to transfer them to our blender cup. So now we're going to roast a piece of onion and chile serranos or jalapeños. I'm using four. And once our onion and chiles are done, we're going to transfer them to our blender cup as well. And here I'm just going to turn it off. And using the same heat, I'm going to toast for chile de arbol. Of course, this is all optional. And after 20 seconds, our chiles are done. Oops, and I lost one. Okay, so now we're ready to make our salsa. Okay, to our blender cup, we're going to add one garlic clove, a little bit of salt, And we're going to be blending with a little water. Okay, so now blend into smooth. Alrighty, and just like that, we have our salsa. So transfer your salsa to a bowl. And I'm going to be adding a little chopped cilantro and onion. And here, just taste it for salt and adjust it if needed. And just like that, we have our salsa. Ready guys, and once we have our tacos, we can now get ready for the fun part. Hey right, guys, I already have my tacos, and I'm just going to top them with some sour cream. And I like to eat my tacos de papa with some cabbage, but of course you can always just use lettuce, just your favorite. I'm going to add some pico de gallo. Some queso cotija. 
and of course our salsa. And just like that, we can get ready to enjoy our delicious tacos de papa. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now let me tell you guys, the tacos de papa are my absolute favorite. They're my go-to just on those days, you know, that I don't know what to cook or I just not feeling like cooking, but I still want something delicious. And of course, you know, adding the chiles and the onion, it just adds a little extra touch but I am so ready. The salsa is just perfect. And you know, you can always adjust it to, to your heat preference. If you don't like it too spicy, then just add less peppers. And if you want it more spicy, add more. But for me, this is honestly perfect. So I hope you give it a try and enjoy it just as much. Cheers and enjoy. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Seriously, <clears throat> super delicious, so flavorful. They're just honestly the best. Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how to make some delicious tacos de papa. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Share with your friends and family. And if you record this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.